I haven't filmed a book haul since the dawn of time, really. Uh, April, so <laughs> it's been a while. This is going to be my third book haul of 2017, which I'm pretty happy with because I have not bought a lot of books this year. I'm proud of myself. Good job, Erica. Um, although, although, I have 15 books here, which sounds like a lot, but I only purchased six of the 15 here. So most of the books were, you know, sent to me by other people, and I don't feel guilty, um, although I still have over a hundred books on my shelf that are unread. <laughs> Moving on uh, with the books, I'm gonna start with all the books that were sent to me by people. First, I'm gonna start with the two books that were sent to me uh, by Autumn, Autumn from Fall Into Books. I will link her down below. She's, she's honestly, she's so nice. She's so nice. Contacted me months and months ago asking if she could send me a book and I said yes and then she sent me two books. The first book she sent me is Grayson by Lynn Cox. This is a non-fiction book about a encounter between a teenage girl and a baby whale off the coast of California. And I'm surprised I'd never heard of this before she asked me about it because I, I'm not a teenage girl, but I do live off the coast of California. Um, so I'm really excited to read this. Um, there's a whale on the cover. I don't think the lighting, you can really see the book. Can you, can you see the whale? I don't think you can see the whale. And the other book she sent me is a book that I've been wanting to read for quite a while. I want to say years, but I've just, I've never picked it up and I don't know why. My best friend has even read this and she enjoyed it quite a bit. I think I was planning on borrowing it from her someday, but never did. Um, anyway, that book is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. I have no idea what this is about, honestly. Does anyone know what this is about? Because I hear so many people talk about this book on booktube, but no one actually talks about what it is about or explains it. I've never heard anyone explain this book. Next, I have Through the Shattered Looking Glass by Emil Crane. This book was sent to me by the author herself. She emailed me um, a couple months ago and said, hey, I am writing this book. It's an Alice in Wonderland retelling. I like your channel. Would you maybe read it if I send it to you? And I said, yeah, send it to me. I already read this. This book is trippy and, 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 and creepy and dark and so twisted. Alice in Wonderland in itself is twisted, but this is just... This, this is something. The next book I have is Amid Stars and Darkness by Chaney Lynn Feener. This was sent to me in a unsolicited book promotion box by Swoon Reads and Macmillan. Mac Pen Macmillan? Something like that. Uh, this is a young adult sci-fi romance book about a alien princess that goes rogue and runs away and gets some girl to take her place. Um, I read this already, and if you're interested in my thoughts, you could watch my, um, my booktubeathon vlogs. I talk about it a bit in there, and, um, I mean, it's okay, I guess. The next book I have, or rather book and DVD, was sent to me by Christian, which, Christian, if you're watching this, thank you so much, and I miss you so much. Whatever Happened to Baby Jane uh, by Henry Farrell, the chilling novel that inspired the iconic film, which... Here it is, um, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. This is the anniversary edition. This stars Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. I have neither read the book nor seen the movie, nor do I know anything about the movie, which I don't know if that's good or bad, probably bad. The last four books that were given to me, I received yesterday when I checked my mailbox and found a bunch of packages from Monse, AKA Sharkbait. I was so happy and excited when I opened these packages because honestly, she gives the best book gifts ever ever, and you'll see why right now. The first book she sent me is The Mammoth Book of Sea Battles, Great Stories and Classic Tales from the Golden Age of Naval Warfare. Contributors include C.S. Forrester, Richard Woodman, William Hope Hodgson, uh, Kenneth Bulmer, Jacqueline Marmer, and many more. Um, edited by Mike Ashley. This is gorgeous and I'm so excited. Sea Battles. I mean, uh, of course I would like this. Um, when I first opened up the book, I saw that there was a, a section on Davy Jones' locker. Uh, you can't see that, but there's a section on Davy Jones' locker and what? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. She also sent me In the Heart of the Sea, The Tragedy of the Whale Ship Essex by Nathaniel Philbrick, which I've been wanting 
for years, for years, but I just haven't picked it up and I don't know why. Um, I should have picked it up, especially since I read Moby Dick. This is the, the story behind Moby Dick and um, how that came to be. So I'm so stoked for this. And then she sent me um, a book that's kind of interesting. Uh, it's Riptide by Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child. This book is about a, um, a pirate uh, 300 years ago. He buried his, his treasure on an island off the coast of Maine, a treasure that's just worth millions and millions of dollars. So here we are now, and all of these treasure hunters are trying to obtain this said treasure. Uh, what's interesting though, is that uh, this is by Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child, which just so happens to be my mom's favorite author duo group, whatever you want to call them. Uh, she reads everything by them. Her whole bookshelf is just Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child, and I've never read anything by them before, which is a shame because it's my mom's favorite uh, authors. And the last book that was gifted to me by Sharkbait uh, is Great Stories of the Sea and Ships, edited by N.C. With, illustrated by Peter heard. This is just sea stories about the sea and ships and there are so many authors in here. Uh, some you may know, like Christopher Columbus, Richard Henry Dana Jr., Alexander Dumas, Homer, Victor Hugo, Washington Irving, uh, Jack London, Herman Melville, Edgar Allan Poe, Robert Louis Stevenson, Jules Verne, so many, so excited. This is such a beautiful hardback too. Oh, so excited. And there are illustrations. Ah, oh, I don't know if I let me show you illustrations, which just makes me happy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Shark Bait. You, you, stop it, stop it. Why are you so nice to me? I don't deserve it. I have six more that I bought. Um, the first four that I'm gonna show you are from a bookstore that's very near and dear to my heart that's going to be closing its doors very, very soon, and it's gonna be gone forever, and I'm really sad about it. First up, I have her name. Titanic, The Untold Story of the Sinking and Finding of the Unsinkable Ship by Charles Pellegrino. This is nonfiction about the Titanic. I've had my eyes on this book for a while, and the reason that I wanted this little Titanic book is because it's blurbed by Stephen King. Of all people to blurb a book about the Titanic, Stephen King. Hypnotic Stephen King. Like, why, why Stephen King? Did you blurb this book? So I had to take it, and I did. Next, I have Your Inner Fish, A Journey into the 3.5 Billion Year History of the Human Body by Neil Shubin. This book um, was recommended to me time and time again from Janelle from All the Worlds a Page. She used to be the page turner, but she changed her name. This is a non-fiction book. Uh, Neil Shubin is a paleontologist, um, and he tells the story of our bodies as we've never seen them before. He basically shows us that our hands resemble fish fins. He tells us that major parts of us look and function like those of worms and bacteria. So um, this is this is supposed to be really interesting. The next book I grabbed was War of the Whales, A True Story by Joshua Horowitz. This is a non-fiction book about sonar and how sonar is really damaging to sea life, especially whales. I've had my eyes on this book for quite a long time, so I saw the opportunity and I took it. <laughs> the last book that I picked up from there was The Golden Age of Piracy by Hugh F. Rankin. This is a non-fiction book about pirates. This bookstore that I love has so many books about pirates and I just, I really needed to restrain myself so I just grabbed this one. I also have one other book that I picked up from this bookstore but this was maybe a month ago now possibly. It's been a while. And that is I Loved You More, a novel by Tom Spanbauer. I recently read Now is the Hour and by Tom as well, and it was just beautiful. Uh, so I needed more by Tom Spanbauer, and I found this one. I have no idea what this is about, but I can only imagine that with the greatness that was uh, Now is the Hour, this could only be great as well, so we'll see. And the last book I have for this book haul is Soldier Boy by Keely Hutton, afterward by Ricky Richard Aniwar, a novel based on a true story from the Ugandan Civil War. I actually just finished reading this book about 10 minutes before filming this book haul, so if my eyes are red and puffy, it's because I was crying the entire time while reading this. This book is absolutely heartbreaking and so hard to read, but it's such an important book. This is Young Adult, and it's a realistic fiction account of Ricky Aniwar's time as a child soldier. 
1989, uh, he was forced into the LRA, which is the Lord's Resistance Army, um, for Joseph Kony. You know, he watched his entire family murdered before his eyes and then was forced into uh, the LRA for over two and a half years. He survived, but just what he had to go through and this story is just absolutely horrifying and it's so relevant right now because this is stuff that's still going on. I think this book just came out in June and it's young adult. Most of booktube reads young adult and yet no one is talking about this book. I even searched it up um, on YouTube and no one's talking about this book. It makes me so sad and a little bit angry because this is such an important book. The topic is so relevant. I almost feel that I have to review this book and talk about it because no one else is so I think I might do that really soon but I don't know that I could give this book justice in talking about it so we'll see. I will try though but like I said I really really recommend this. It's probably my favorite book I've read this year so far so there's that. And that's my book haul. I think we'll end it there. Uh, if you have any thoughts or opinions and, and want to talk to me down below, leave a comment. I would love to chit chat with you all, as I always do. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.